7.2 number 15. Divide the rational expressions. So as usual with division, we're first going to turn it to multiplication. 4k squared minus 3k take away 1 over 4k squared plus 11k plus 7 times and flip the second one over. 4k squared plus 3k minus 7 all over 16 k squared minus 1. Okay, once we turn it to multiply and flip, the next thing we're going to do is factor. So we have a whole bunch of factoring to do here. So let's take them one at a time. First we'll take the 4k squared minus 3k minus 1. It's a trinomial, so we're going to look at binomial factoring. We want factors of 4, so either 4 times 1 or 2 times 2 that multiply against factors of 1, which would only be 1 times 1, to give us a middle term of minus 3. And the middle terms are going to subtract each other because the last p the terms that build them are going to have opposite signs because of the minus sign here. So what we want to look at then is a 4 hitting a 1 and a 1 hitting a 1. That will give us a difference of 3. So that's the factoring we want to use. 4k and k and then 1 and 1. Opposite signs, making sure that the bigger one's going to get the negative. So the 4 hitting the 1 here should get the negative. Then the plus would go here. Double check. 4k squared plus 4k, I mean minus 4k plus k is minus 3k minus 1, and it works. So over here, this was a shortcut approach for the trinomial factoring. Um, you can also use the trial and error method of listing all possibilities. You can also use the um, the AC method, or by grouping, it's often called also. And if you have a method that you prefer and you're just not able to factor this and you're having trouble with it, just let me know and I can do it out doing a different method that you prefer better. All right, so that's going to be the top left um, tri trinomial. So now let's look at the bottom left trinomial. 4K squared plus 11K plus 7. And now we want factors of 4, so again, 4 times 1 or 2 times 2 that are going to multiply against factors of 7, 7 times 1. And they're going to be the same sign, so they're going to build up or add together to give us a middle term of 11. So we're going to want to have 4 times 1 and 1 times 7, because 7 and 4 add up to 11. So in the factoring, we're going to put 4k and k as the factors of 4. Then we're going to put 7, 1 for 7, and we want to make sure the 4 and 7 don't hit each other because that's going to give us 28. We want the 7 over here and the 1 over here. All positives, and that gives us 4k squared plus 4 plus 7 is plus 11k plus 7. So that one worked out. And let's see, now the top right one, and what I'm going to do is start replacing these guys over here by their factoring so I don't forget who's who. So I'm going to replace this guy by 4k plus 7 k plus 1, and the top left was 4k plus 1, k minus 1. Alright, so let's keep going. 4k squared plus 3k minus 7 for the top right. Factors of 4 that multiply onto factors of 7. They're going to give us a difference of 3 because they will have opposite signs. So difference of 3 means let's get 7 and 4 with opposite signs to get a difference of 3. So we're going with 4k and k and the 7 and 1. And we want to make sure the 4 and 7 don't hit each other. So the 7 goes here, 1 goes here. We want a positive 3 in the middle so the larger one is going to give us is going to take the plus sign. The smaller one takes the minus. And that gives us 4k squared. Minus 4 plus 7 is plus 3 minus 7. So that works. And let's replace that top right trinomial with 4k plus 7 k minus 1. And the bottom right is the difference of perfect squares. So take the root of the first term, which would be 4k, root of the second term, 1 and 1, 
and then opposite signs. So now let's rewrite what we have for our factored pieces, otherwise it's just a little bit much to look at visually here. So let's replace, and now we have 4k plus 1 times k minus 1 over 4k plus 7 times k plus 1 times 4k plus 7 times k take away 1 all over 4k plus 1 times 4k minus 1. Now we can look for canceling. So let's see, we've got 4k plus 1, top and bottom. 4k plus 7, top and bottom. And that's it. We have 2k minus 1s, but they're both on top. So you never want to cancel two things that are on the same position. We always have to go top to bottom. So that leaves us with k minus 1, k minus 1, all over k plus 1, 4k minus 1. So you can either leave it like that, or a more common way to write the final answer is k minus 1 is happening twice, so it's squared over k plus 1, 4k minus 1. And that would be the final answer there.